<clears throat> Hello everyone. I am the Dance of Life Dancer. And I'm coming to report to you tonight an extremely horrible experience. I'm coming to you to talk to you tonight about my experience at the Lady of the Snows Shrine in Belleville. The Way of Lights. And this incident happened at the Visitor Center at the Way of Lights Shrine in Belleville. It also happened at the parish too. The church in Belleville at the Way of Lights. But I went there on the 16th to, um, in order to go listen to the, the Christmas music and stuff like I always do. I went in there and when I first went in there they had reserved seating signs on all the chairs. And the eventual thing that I was told was it was because of me. To make a long story short, I'm sitting there, it's like an hour or something before the music's supposed to begin, and I am uh, sitting there waiting for the music, and all of a sudden, <clears throat> the two police show up. Sheriff's Office Department. Comes up to me, which I actually, they come up to me and tell me that the people there don't want me there because everyone's now I'm gonna tell you this almost exactly like they said it they said that the people at the shrine everybody's complaining about me because they're uncomfortable around me because of my transgender that is word for word what the what they told me that the people are uncomfortable around me because I'm transgender that's what they told me that's word for word what they told me. They told me more than that too. The people at the shrine told me that uh, Jesus didn't want me. That uh, look, they relayed this to the police. They told me they said this. They said that the, uh, they said that I'm making a mockery out of Jesus by coming in that shrine because it's such a holy, holy place. You know what I mean? That I'm making a mockery out of Jesus dressing as I do right here, being Susan Stone, that I make a mockery out of Jesus, and I make a mockery out of God and everything because I'm dressed like Susan, because I'm transgender, that Jesus doesn't want me here at that shrine, he doesn't want me any place, you know what I mean? That's what they, t what t they told me, that they don't want me there, Jesus doesn't want me there, I'm making a mockery out of Jesus and, and God and everything because I'm I'm Susan Stone. I'm dressed like this. They said that uh, I need to, you know, I'm I'm acting foolish. That I need to straighten up. Meaning, and this is what they told me: I need to dress up like a a, a man in order to go there. You know what I mean? In order for Jesus to accept me, I need to stop being Susan and dress up like a man. You know what I mean? That's what they told me. That's what they said. Jesus Christ said. They said that Jesus doesn't want me there. The people at the shrine feel uncomfortable around me because I'm transgender. And you know what? Three or four days before that ever happened, let me give you the rest of the story. Three or four days before that ever happened, they told me that I'm not allowed to uh, sit next to the children. I'm not allowed to Take, you know, I take pictures and videos of everything to put it up online for everybody. They said, oh, I'm not allowed to do that for people under 18 years old. Because of who I am. Because I'm a transgender. In other words, they're making me out as... I don't need to fill in the blank, do I? But, uh, they did this three or four days before I, this even started. And they're telling me, and this is what they said... Jesus Christ doesn't want you here because you're making a mockery out of Jesus. I'm making a mockery out of Jesus because of who I am. I'm transgender, so I'm making a mockery out of Jesus. That's what they told me. That's what they told me. When I went to the parish the day before, and that's online, the pastor came up to me 
and told me, asked me, uh, what did what did he say? Why did you come? Did you come here for the music, or to do something else? Like, what else am I gonna do? You know what I mean? What else am I gonna do? Remember, remember, remember the St. Matthew's United Church of Christ, 2009. Same thing right here with the shrine. If you know what I mean, there's there's no difference whatsoever. Jesus doesn't want me, that's what they said, they said that you're making, I'm a mockery coming into the word of house of God. And this is what they told me, I'm a mockery coming into the house of God because of me dressed the way I am. Because I'm Susan, because I'm transgender. They give me the same old bit about, you know, uh, I'm going to hell and I, all that kind of stuff, which I've heard that so many million times. I wish that somebody would send them to hell, you know what I mean? I'm a mockery to Jesus, that's what they said, because of who I am. Everybody there, and I, you know, everybody there is uncomfortable around me because I'm transgender, because that's not what, I'm not supposed to be in a holy, holy place like that because God don't want me there, you know what I mean? God don't want me there, the shrine don't want me there because of who I am. In other words, go out, get, dress up like a man and come back. That's basically what they told me that they said. If you know what I mean. And I'm so pissed about that because I simply don't understand that. I don't understand why I'm, I can't be who I'm supposed to be. You know what all you people out there, you need not go to the shrine. Don't go to the Way of Light shrine over there in Belleville on that Highway 15. Because it's the worst place I've ever seen, if you know what I mean. The worst place I've ever seen, the worst discrimination I've ever heard of, and this just keeps getting worse and worse, so each and every time it's worse. Discriminate against people like me because of who I am. I'm transgender. God doesn't want me. I don't remember asking for his opinion anyway, but um, God don't want me because of who I am. He can't accept me for who I am. We ought to know something. I accept everybody for who they are. So what does that mean? I'm one better than God? Because he can't accept me for who I am, but yet I can accept everybody for who they are. This hurts me very much. I, I was hurt tonight, that night. I almost had an accident twice. You know what I mean? Because I don't feel, I don't understand this. I'm not understanding this, you know what I mean? I'm not understanding these people. We're on two different levels here. I would advise all of you people out there, not just the transgenders, all of you people out there, not to go to the shrine. The one in Belleville, the way of lights. It's a very discriminatory place. And when I was at the parish just on the on the 15th, they had somebody sitting beside me. I got a picture of it. I never aired it yet. They no, oh, that's another thing. They threatened me. The police threatened me with the. Uh, the shrine threatened me with, if you uh, show this on the air and all that stuff, a picture, if you show the videotape, because I got a videotape of the discrimination. If you show the videotape on the air, we'll take you and arrest you and send you to jail. Well, you know what? I got all the time in the world. I got the tape. Well, I'll, you know, anyway, it's not important. What's important is I'm real tired of stuff like this. I am so tired, so tired of this discrimination stuff. And you want to know something? You people out there, they're doing you the same way. It doesn't matter if you're straight or like me. It's an abomination of what they're doing. They're calling me an abomination. They're the ones that are, the, are abominable by their behavior. You know what I mean? And I'm so, they're calling me an abomination. They're the abominable ones. And you want to know something? You people out there, you need to do something about this. You need to take that step. You need to boycott that place. You need to tell them, you're not going to come, come over there. You're take, not going to take it anymore. Like Martin Luther King stood up. I can't do this alone, my friends. I need your help out there. You want to see so this happen to somebody else? Which I've already talked to somebody else who, who had this happen to them. It's another person like myself. You want to see this happen to somebody else, then you can sit there and do nothing. And I guarantee you, 
Someday it'll happen to somebody you know. I'm sick and tired of this stuff. I'm sick and sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of somebody discriminating against somebody because of who they are. That's the same thing as saying, you know what, because you're black, you're an African American, you can't be here. That used to happen before the time of Martin Luther King, remember that? Because you're black, you can't be on the back of that bus. You have to get to the back of that bus. Remember Rosa Parks? You gotta be on the back of that bus. This is the same thing. There ain't no difference. Regardless of what people say, there is no difference. And when somebody can come up to me, stick me in handcuffs and take me out and, you know, make, throw me out of a place because of who I am, because I'm transgender, then you know how to know something? God fear for America and the world because, you know what? The world needs some help. And you're the one that's got to change this, my friends. You're the one that needs to change this. You need to stand up. You need to stand by. You need to, you need to do, do something. You need to take action to stop stuff like this. Because it's never going to stop without somebody like me leading the thing to get somebody to stop it. To risk everything in order to stop it like Martin Luther King did. I have a dream. I have a dream. My dream is everyone united in this world, not just the blacks and the whites, where people like me don't have to go back and sit on the back of the bus and get their seat up because somebody white wants to sit there. It's the same thing with us, with the transgender. There's no difference. No difference. And it must stop now. Thank you for joining me, my friends. Remember, don't go to the shrine in Belleville. Give them a ring-a-ling up on that phone and jingle the bells and tell them how you feel. Because after all, I told you about it. Thank you and good night.